Good morning, my student. Today we will discussion about pregnancy pathology and uh, puerperal period diseases, pre and perinatal life diseases. Also, the following uh, pathologies refer to the pregnancy period. They are early and late gestosis, extrauterine pregnancy, spontaneous abortion, preterm delivery, hereditary deform mole, horn epithelioma, placental polyp, puerperal infection. Also, <coughs> pregnancy toxicosis or gestosis. Among the early gestosis, the most frequently occur the following ones. Sickness, nausea of pregnancy, excessive sickness of pregnancy, allergic reaction, hypertelism and others. Also, early gestosis occur on the first or third months of pregnancy and are determined by excessive irritation of the nervous centers and cerebral cortex depression or jump of estrogen and progesterone concentration in the blood. Late gestosis. To the late gestosis are referred edema of pregnant, nephropathy, preeclampsy and eclampsy. They occur and declare themselves more frequently from 30 seconds or 34 week of pregnancy. In the studies they are also called APCs, gestosis, edema, proteinuria, hypertension and preeclampsy. Also, eclampsy is one of the pregnancy toxicosis which develops in the second half of pregnancy child birth and puerperal period. Clinically, eclampsy is determined by the renal and liver insufficiency, major epilepsy with syncope, <coughs> etiology and pathogenesis of eclampsy. Uh, Autointoxication with products which are secreted by fetal tissue and excrements is considered to be cause of eclampsia. Eclampsia appears on the background of renal insufficiency, endocrine balance disturbance, hypophysis, hyperfunctioning, adrenal and thyroid gland insufficiency. Allergic eclampsy theory is both mentioning according to that the pregnant female's organism is synthesized by the fetus and external, experimental albinous products. Uh, pathomorphology of eclampsy. <coughs> At the time of the patient's gendarmes, edemas, full-blown change in the liver, and kidneys. Liver is enlargement, stripped in logs on the yellow background, fat degeneration, numerous flat subcapsular hemorrhages. The surface of the incision is pale, clearly, with numerous hemorrhages. Microscopically, uh, there are hemorrhages, necrosis in the periphery sites of particles, fibrinogenous small venous thrombosis, albinos and fatty degeneration of the hepatocytes. <coughs> in kidney, by eclampsy, you can see signs next, next, next signs. Kidneys are large, slack, crust layer is pale, gummy, a little thickened, cerebral, by eclampsy, one is sharply pletoric. Gistology. Dystrophy and tubular epithelium. Necrosis. Excrement cells embolism of the vos capillaris glomerulis. Fibrinoid necrosis of the capillary walls. Stromal hemorrhages, sometimes a picture of mesangium glomerulonephritis with laying to immune complex on the basic membrane and mesangium cells proliferation. 
in the cellulose causes necrotic nephrosis with acute renal insufficiency develops. Numerous hemorrhages combined with small venous thrombosis as well as necrotic and dystrophic change apart from liver and kidney are detected in the cerebral, lungs, heart tissue, cerebral membranes. In the placenta, changes are found which are consequence of its ischemia, intensive deciduolular node deformation, thickening of the basic trophoblast membrane, cytotrophoblastic hypoplasia, and infarction. Premature placenta exfoliation is often observed. By eclampsy, infants are born premature with the features of hypoxia and intrauterine fetal hypertrophy. Sometimes intrauterine fetal deaths occur. Patient women die of liver renal insufficiency and hemorrhage to the vital organs. <coughs> Next pathology of pregnancy is extrauterine. Pregnancy is characterized by the fetus development outside the uterine cavity. For example, in the tube, tubal pregnancy, in the ovary, ovarium pregnancy, or in the abdominal cavity, abdominal pregnancy. <coughs> Etiology of extra, extra uterine pregnancy. The lobbit uh, of the extra uterine pregnancy is determined by abnormality of uterine tubes permeability, for example, by after chronic inflammation, congenital, luminal neurobin, tumors, which make fertilization translocation from ampulla to part to the uterine cavity difficult. Tubal pregnancy can be ampulla which develops in the abdominal tube part interstitial in the part of the tube located in the uterus wall depths and isthmic in the place of the anatomic tube constriction. If the tube breaks along the low rib in the consequence of the fetal growth, then the later falls between the uterine ligament folia and interligament pregnancy develops. <coughs> By tubal pregnancy in the mucous tube on the place of the fetal leg attachment and in the endometrium decidual reaction appears. Appearance of big cells rich in glycogen. The fetus is attached to the endometrium with chorion. As the wall of the tube is seen, the chorion grow through the endometrium muscular layer reaches the serous membrane. The wall becomes fribbled and fetus is torn away second or third pregnancy months. It is called maldeveloped tubal pregnancy. The tube rupture is accompanied with the hemorrhages into abdominal cavity which can result in the woman's death. Sometimes a thrombus trombones the rupture hole make rupture. If the latter drops out, recurrent hemorrhage are possible. If the churn away egg is left in the tube lumen, incomplete tubal abortion. In the causes it dies and its membranes are impregnant with blood. It's a blood mole, and it, if the fetus falls into the abdominal cavity through ampulla tubal part, a complete tubal abortion comes. Reimplantation is possible in this case, the development of the secondary abdominal pregnancy. By extrauterine pregnancy, the fetus dies more often. Embalm Pari fetus, papiraceus fetus, 
and lines, lithopedia, or results. When the histologic study of the tube extracted by means of the operation, pregnancy features are displayed, chorionic villi, decidual cells. Decidual reaction in the endometrium takes place. The uterus enlarged a little. A spontaneous abortion is one two pathology of by pregnancy is a, a, a spontaneous fetus vestige and fetus excretion out of the endometrium before the 28th week from the conception moment. Abortion before 40th week is considered early from 40th to 28th weeks the later one. Miscarriage between the 28th and the 38th week is called pretend delivery. At the time of the fetus vestige, the whole fetal egg, fetus and membranos, is excreted out of the endometrium. The later can be intact or torn. Turn. During the pretend delivery, the fetus is born first and then the membranos and placenta after birth. Histologically, chorionic villi, decidual cells and fetus membrane are detected among the grounds. Also, the abortion very often coming after the fetus has died as a result of incomplete emission of the fetus egg into the endometrium as a result of its incompetence. The latter was mainly determined by the atrophy resulted from previous abortions, inflammation, separation and extrusion of the fetus egg is often caused by the early fatal death when the mother has different diseases, syphilis, serious infection, intoxication, or vitaminosis. Miscarriage also develops along with congenital maldevelopment which are incompletely with life. It remains a mystery how the mother's organism detects the deformities of the embryo. Artificial abortion is carried out according to the medical indication of the undesirable pregnancy. If such abortion is either carried out outside the medical establishment in in sanitation which can lead to sepsis and criminal investigation or is not registered as surgical operation and it is called criminal. Criminal. It is proved that embryo is very troubled before the artificial abortion, his heart beating speeding up, it contracts as if trying to become less, unnoticed, hides in the most remote corner. He reaches, he reeks to the abortion as the death which is coming closer. The abortion complications are sterility, hemorrhages, sepsis. Trophoblastic tumor includes hydrotiophone molar, invasive hydrotiophone molar, horin carcinoma, trophoblastoma of the placental sites. The source of the disease is placental tissue. It is more often found among the pregnant in the age before 16 or after 35 hours. Also, hydrity form molar or molar hydrotidosa is a hydropic and cystic degeneration of the placental chorionic villi during gestation. The number of villi increased they become large in the shape of molars filled with transpirated liquid and 
resemble a bunch of grapes. The diseases manifest itself through vaginal hemorrhages, sometimes with elimination of the gidatriform valley during the first term. The uterus is enlarged and extremely high level of chorionic gonatropin is displayed. The fetus dies. In this uh, picture um, we demonstrate microscopically size of hereditiform mole. The grape-like villi of the hereditiform mole are seen here. With mole pregnancy, the uterus is large for dates, but no fetus is present. Hereditiform leaves me markedly elevated. But the patient with a hereditiform mole are often large for dates and have hyperemesis gravity daru more frequently. Patient may present with bleeding and may pass some of the grape-like willy. Hereditiform mole, mole gidatidosa, the trophoblast um, have next signs. Trophoblast proliferated, lytic activity rises which leads to the growing of the villi into the deep layer of the uterus, myometrium, sometimes to the serous membrane, chorioadenoma destroys. In such causes, urinal hemorrhage are observed a few weeks after the ablation of gidatriform mole. Along with its lung, vagina metastases are found which can disappear, especially after the chemotherapy cause. If the villi have grown into the veins, chiso placental pulmonary embolism occurs. It is deformed more, more can be complicated with horin epithelioma. The cause of gidatriform mole is unknown. It is often connected with follicular ovary cyst and perhaps appear on the background of the harmonic dysfunction of the rest. Cystic transformation of the placental villi with formation of gidatriform mole can be also determined by domination of the furthest chromosomes in the embryo Onic karyotype. Next pathology of pregnancy, horin epithelioma or horin carcinoma, is a malignant tumor from the trophoblast epithelium. It develops of the remains of placenta after abortion 25%, delivery is compli complicated by the hidratiform mole 50%, Clinically normal delivery, 22%. Ectopic pregnancy, especially with chorionodenoma destroyance, invasive mole, accompanied with a few uterus enlargement with evident decidual reaction in the endometrium. Chorion carcinoma can develop in the lungs as a result of placental embolism in the ovary with teratogenous urinary blood, a particular septum of testis, testicles. Typically, clinically symptom is the appearance of the metrorages. The tumor is hormonally active, extremely malignant. Horin carcinoma, some time ago, this tumor was called decidioma. It was considered to originate from decidual tissue of the gravid uterus. In 1996, Nikifro uh, and Marshall proved that it develops of the chorionic villi epithelium. 80, 86. It looks like a very giant flotty, flabby nodus in the myometrium. 
the vessels in the form of cavities. There are no stroma and own vessels. It feeds from blood which flowers out the tissues destroyed by it. It is of the dark brown color due to gematogenous pigments. It consists of the cyto and syncytiotrophoblast cells, light epithelium langan cells, among which there are many genetic cells with numerous mitosis. Polymorphous dark syncytium cells are located. Placental pathology is classified due to localization and character of the pathologic process. Pathologic process can be on the basic membrane, this the basalis, intervillous lacuna, fetus part of placenta, villi, chorionic plate, umbilical cord, or placental fetus membranes. And this uh, picture scheme demonstrates the variant abnormalities of placentation. The particulars are normally implanted in the uterus fundus. Show the here diagramic uh, several problems with placentation. Also, this is normal placenta. Placenta previa result from a very low lane placenta or a placenta which covers the host. Placenta a creator result from a lack of formation of a normal decidual plate. There's a chorionic will extend into myometrium and the placenta cannot separate normally alone delivery. Several hemorrhage result. Abruption placenta result from premature separate of the placenta prior to delivery with formation of a retroplacental blood clot. The blood supply of oxygen and nutrition to the fetus is compromised to great degree with increased size of the abruption. Also, placental pathology. Uh, inflammatory process and blood circulation disorder are the most often found in the placenta. Disturbance of the villiferous tree are often found which leads to placental hyperplasia, insufficient vascularization of the villi. Infectional process in the placenta appear as a result of penetration of the microorganism, virus, bacteria, protozoas, etc., into the placenta. They distinguish ascending way of infection in, through the uterus and the cervix uterine, which takes place alone with early moving of vitae and long lasting anhydrous period. Gematogenic from the material maternal blood circulation descending through the uterus tubus. Inflammatory processes in placenta can be in the decidual membranes, in the villi, in the intervillous lacuna, chorionic and amniotic membranes, in the umbilical cords. Depending on the Causative agent inflammatory cellular infiltration is presented by leukocytes, lymphocytes, plasma, and giant cells, histiocytes, etc. Inflammatory process in placenta can cause it fetus, uterus infection, pretend delivery, abnormalities, anomalies of the following pregnancy. Placental pathology, placental bla blastodisc abnormalities manifested themselves through the change of form appearance of the elevation of limbus which surround placenta. In such causes, hemorrhages in placenta, pretend delivery or stillbirth are observed. 
According to the change in the localization of the placenta, attachment the following variants of anomalies are distinguished. Marginal or central placenta, presentation relative to the cervix uterine internal forces, such anomalies can cause hemorrhages and lead to fetal and mother's death. Anomalies of exfoliation manifest themselves through adherence of ileal exfoliations, which leads to metaragies. Blood circulation disorder in placenta manifests themselves through diffuse ischemia, diffuse hyperemia, hemorrhages, edema, perivalivosus fibrin deposition, thrombos, infarctions. Blood circulation disorder in placenta. Diffuse ischemia of placenta is observed with hemolytic anemia, post-hemorrhagic conditions, intrauterine fetal death. Placental ischemia can cause anemia as well as the fetal death. Diffuse hyperemia of placenta takes place accompanied with mother's hypoxia conditions. Blood outflow derangement through the umbilical vein as a result of no deformation in the umbilical cord. Gemorrhages from the placenta occur with ill exfoliation, placental presentation. Placental edema develops at the time of hemolytic disease, nephropathies, infarction disease. Thrombosis of placenta develop during gestosis and causes infarction formation. Perivaleophores fibrin deposition is observed at the periphery of placenta in the form of close daffodid boundary fonfis with fibrosis and vasus obliteration. Umbilical cord pathology manifested itself through the change of length, a short one, less than 40 cm, a long one, over 70 cm. Places of attachment to placenta, central, eccentric, marginal, membranose, vessels hypoplasy, persistence with formation of the umbilical interstitial fistula, Persistence of the urachus with formation of the umbilical urinary fistula. Placental polyp, uh, pathology of pregnancy, develops in the endometrium from the remains of placenta pisces after deliveries or abortions. Histologically, it is made of villi, decidural tissue, Fibrin clothes which becomes organized. In the place where the polyp is attached, connective tissue site is formed. Placental polyp shows down post natal involvement of uterus, contributes to development of endometriitis, is also accompanied with by metrogis. After birth infection of the uterus is the most often determined with streptococcus, staphylococcus, uh, colon bacillus. Purulenta endometritis, endometritis purulenta occur very often in such a cause. Endometritis can develop before delivery endometritis subpartum, during delivery endometritis intrapartum, and after delivery endometritis postpartum. After birth infection more frequently occur exogenously, non observance of the aseptic rules or endogenous antenatal endometritis. Endometritis very often causes uterine sepsis. Septical endometritis is of purulent diphtheritic or superative character. Endometrium surface is covered with taub incrustations. 
lymphangitis, phlebitis, thrombophlebitis develop. Metritis, perimetritis, pelvic peritonitis often develop too. Also, next part our lecture will be discussion about prenatal pathology. Prenatal or antenatal pathology includes pathologies, pathologic process of the human embryo beginning with fertilization and ending with delivery. Prenatal period lasts 280 days or 40 weeks. The whole development from fertilization to delivery is called kinetogenesis, which is present by progenesis period of male and female sex cells, gametos, repeating before the fertilization. Kinetogenesis period is divided into three periods. Blastogenesis lasts from fertilization to the 50th day of pregnancy, when the fertilization division takes place and it ends up with embryo and trophoblast elimination. Embryogenesis from the 6th, 60s to the 75th days of pregnancy when the main organogenesis takes place, amnion and chorion are formed. Phytogenesis lasts from the 76 to the 280s day of pregnancy, when differentiation and repenting of the fertile tissues take place, placenta is formed and of up with delivery. Phytogenesis period can be divided into early fertile and late fertile. Early fertile begin from the 76 to the 180 day. At the end of this period, fetus becomes viable. And late fetal period from the 181 fasts to the 280th day, when the fetus becomes mature. Also, kinetopathy. kinetopathy occurs during the kinetogenesis period. It is correspondingly divided into blastosis, embryopathy, early and later phytopathy. There is a resonance of kinetopathy according to the latest date. 20% deformity is main kinetogenesis. This period pathology uh, connected with gen mutation. 10% with chromosomes aberration. 10% with uh, exogenous factors influenza. 60% of ambiguous etiology. German measles, rubeola, chick prox, mononucleosis, parotitis, hepatitis, influenza, polymyelitis, pale treponema, troxoplasmosis, tuberculosis, mycobacterium belong to the exogenous factors. Gametopathy during protogenesis pathology of gametes may occur gametopathies. They are manifested through nuclear substance and sex cells, cytoplasm pathology. Nucleus changes are characterized by heredity apparatus of gametia pathology. Gen chromosomes and genomic mutations are distinguished that are cause of congenital maldevelopment deformity. Deformities are not variable and and at up with spontaneous abortion. Cometa cyto cytoplasm pathology as a rule result in sterility, interfility. Blastopathies. They are the most frequently caused by chromosome aberration accompanied with 
environmental influence, mothers' endocrine disease, hypoxia, intoxication, etc. To blastopathy belong blastocyte implantation, disturbance, extrauterine pregnancy, twin deformating, solitary deformating, placenta and umbilical cord formation deformating. Twin deformating deformities are connected with the appearance of two or more independent growing centers during division. If centers of growth are in close location and have common intermediate zone, then two contraction with twins develop. If the contraction winds are identical, symmetrical development, they are called diplopagus from diplos double pagus to connect. If the twins are asymmetrically developed, it is geteropagus. In this uh, picture, microscopically signed Siam's twins, toracophagus. This is an example of toracophagus. Note the large omphalocells in the low abdomen, sharpened by these monozygot twins. These twins shared a heart and liver and several other organs were partially first. Attempt at separation of such twins can either be revoked as heroic new technology or experience fertility. The survival rate is nil. Embryopathy is an embryonic period pathology from the 60s to the 75th day of pregnancy during which the main organogenesis is completed. To the embryopathies belong mostly congestional maldevelopment deformities. With the embryos development the ability to react to different pathogenetic influences with disturbance of morphogenesis is quadrate development. This ability is called dysontogenesis. It was found out that different teratogenetic agents can cause the same deformity. Alone with it, the same teratogenic agent uh, can cause different deformity of development influencing during different period of embryogenesis. In this picture demonstrates examination of uh, stillborn fetus or neonate should consist of careful and uh, detailed physical examination. You must know the presence of any abnormalities as well as detailed size and gestational age. The anomaly seen in this photograph, a large bilateral cleft lip is not so subtle, but some abnormalities are. Call a clinical genetics for consolation. The presence of one abnormality suggests that additional abnormalities may be present, including internal abnormalities such as congestive cardiac defects that may be life threatening. In this picture, continue this uh, different variant of congenital pathology. This neonat has not only a cleft lip, but also a large cleft palate. The nose appears flattened and malformed, as does the forehead suggesting additional abnormalities. Indeed, the baby turns out to have hollow process of valley. Here is an example of 
synductily, in which several findings are fused into one large digit. The trump and forefinger are fused in this case. Various deformity in feet. Deformity, deformation from constraint with oligohedra means can result in the clump feet varus deformity seen here. The feet are turned inward. Agastrochesis, in associated with the limb body wall complex. This complex is sometimes called amniotic band syndrome. But such bands may only be present in half of causes of limb body wall complex seen here in associated with limb body wall complex are reduction of the extremities, particularly the left upper extremities and scoliosis. Not seen here the craniofacial cleft and defected that can also occur with limb body wall complex. Gastroschisis. This is large lateral abdominal wall defect does not involve the cord and it is not covered by the membrane. Much of the bowel stomach and liver outside the abnormal ab abdominal cavity. A colon atresia, accompanied by additional abnormalities, abnormalities including the persistent cloaca uh, that resulting from failure of the urogenital septum to form. The right testis and the left testis are cryptochroid and there is absence of the penis. The presence of one abnormally anomaly suggests that others are present as well. Serenomaly. The term comes from siren or Mermaid because of the characteristic fusion of the low extremities that results from a failure in the development of a normal vascular supply to lower extremities from the lower aorta in utero. The first thing to notice is the features of intrauterine fetal demise. Skin slippage and reddening. These features are those of maceration and no trauma or birth defect. Note the shortened lower extremities known as focomely. It was idiopathic in this case, but in the 1940s, the drug. Talidomides was responsible for many causes when pregnant women took it. Thus, it is very important that pregnant mothers be advised that drugs including cigarette smoking and alcohol consumption may have profound effect on the fetus. Congenital maldeformant is Persistent morphologic change of the organs, which appears as a result of region or organism of organizes, disturbance, and they are beyond the measures of normal variance. To the congestional maldeformant belong absence of any organ of or region agonism or aplasy, underdevelopment of an organ, hypoplasy, excessive development, hyperplasy, 
change in form, conduction organs, artery disease or stenosis of apparatus of canals, non closure of embryonic feature, fissures, persistence, aviases, ectropians. Change in organs location, ectopy. Persistence of embryonic provision organs more frequently of brachial arches or their remains. Fetopathies are pathologies of the fetal period from the 76 to the 280 day of pregnancy during which the basic tissue differential of the organs is carried out. Two types of manifestations are typical. Blood circulation, disorders, dystrophy and necrosis, mutated immune reactions and compensatory and time service processes. Disturbance of tissues morphogenesis are typical or early patopathies, reactive reactions of the late ones. Infectional fetopathies morphologically manifest through generalization of the inflammatory process with numerous foci of reactive necrosis, granuloma formation, hemorrhagic syndrome result from vasculitis, hemolytic dies, retention of foci of extramedullary hematosis, accidental involution, atrophy, of the retrosternal gland tumus, general hypertrophy, prematurity. As a rule, such infants die during the first months of life. If they save, persistent change in the organs remain that cause disability. Non-infection fetopathies can be early or later. To early ones belong hypertrophic pilorostenosis, megacolon, megaurethra, agenesi, hypoplasia or hyperplasia, or bile ductus, polycystic lung disease, polycystic renal disease, etc. To the later ones, hemolytic disease of the infant, fetal mucoviscidosis, endocardial fibrillastosis, diabetic and alcoholic fetopathy, etc. Alcoholic fetopathy is characterized by small fetal weight, microcranium, microhoria, polygria. Sizes of heart and brain are diminished, giri are narrow, numerous, Salsi are deep. These changes are often combined with other congestion maldeformant, maldeformant of brain, cardiovascular system, and urinary system. Such children are slow in their mental and physical development. Pathologies of the infant. Perinatal period, period around delivery, lasts from the 196th day of the intrauterine life of fetus, 28 weeks of pregnancy, to the first week of the extrauterine independent life. In funding is a neonate which has begun to breathe by itself. Stillborn is a fetus which doesn't press at the moment of birth and it could not be simulated particularly also the heart breathing can be observed during some time. Stillbirth and death of infant during the first seven days after delivery are called perinatal mortality. Also, perinatal pathology. Mortality can be divided into antenatal, prenatal, intranatal during the delivery, and postnatal or postpartum or neonatal. 
switches off prematurity. Gestation duration is less than uh, 38 weeks. The weight of fetus is less than 2,500 gram. Height less than 45 centimeter long. Lanugo hair on the face, shooters, back, soft auricles, underdevelopment nails. The boys' testicles are not dropped into the gates, and the girls' pudental fissure gapes because of the maldeformity of valvular lips. Cranial bones are soft. Forty of bones in the lone cortical bones are absent. Features of post-maturity gestation duration is over 41 weeks. Drying, dryness, discomation and particular maceration of skin, general hypertrophy, anemia, water, umbilical cord and membranose are impaired with meconium into bottle green because of hypoxia. Uh, to the pathology of infant belong asphyxia, pneumopathies, birth trauma, hemorrhagic and hemolytic disease of infant. Birth trauma is a mechanic injury of tissues and organs of the fetus during delivery. The causes which determine it are divided into three groups. The first group is those laid in the condition of fetus itself. Fragility of tissues at premature or post-maturity. Congestional maldeformants which are accompanied by venous hyperemia, hemorrhagic syndrome, fetopathies, hypoxia. The second group is determined by pathologists in the mother's material passes, uh, rigidity of maternal passages tissues, inclination of pelvis, contracted pelvis, tumors, oligonamnios, early poly out of the watches. The third group is those later in the course of delivery, accelerate and prolongate labor. Cephalic tumor appear in the part of heart that adjacents the pelvic outlet. It is determined by disorders of blood circulation and lymphokinesis. The tissues of the later becomes dropsy, swollen, can separate. Cephalogematoma is a hemorrhage under the cranial bones. It is always restricted to the one bone site. External hematoma is the most frequently found. It results slowly, undergoes organization and petrification. If there is uh, purulence, meningitis can develop hemorrhage into the meninges and brain. Epidural, subarachnoidal and intracerebral hemorrhages are distinguished. Epidural hemorrhages internal cephalogematoma are always massive. They can take place when there are traumas of cranial bones and traumata of brain. Subdural hemorrhages most frequent occur alone with laceration of tenderone of cerebellum of crescents, there are also a rule massive and lookout on the surface of cerebrum. Subrachnoid hemorrhages are mostly determined by rupture of small veins. Unlike aspic 
tik traumatic, subrachnoid hemorrhagic, a always massive. Intracerebral hemorrhages are caused by rupture of terminal veins can lead to development of hematomas. Intraventricular hemorrhages are most frequently observed among the premature infants. Spinal cord trauma is the result of injury of the spine mostly on the level of the first cervical vertebra and is accompanied by development of descending subdural, subdural hemorrhages. Among the skeleton bones, clavicle is most frequently injured, fracture of clavicle, paralysis of amas and diaphragms of the infant are determined by trauma of root of cervical plexus and braxial plexus. Rupture and hemorrhage into the nodding muscle result is tonsil, torticles. Among the internal sliva and adrenal glands are most frequently injured. Spinal cord trauma is a result of injury of spine mostly on the level of the fourth cervical vertebra and is accompanied by development of descending subdural hemorrhages. Among the skeleton bones, clavicle is most frequently injured, fracture of clavicle. Paralysis of arms and diaphragm of the infant are determined by trauma of root of cervical plexus and braxial plexus. Rupture and hemorrhage into the nodding muscle result in torticulis. Among the internal liver and adrenal glands are most frequently injured. Gamolytic disease of the infant develops with blood incompatibility between the mother and the fetus. Mother is eras negative and child is AH positive. From the mother's blood, anti radiation antibodies penetrate to the child's blood and attack red blood cells. It develops during the second and the following gestation because immunization of the network. Antibody title, title grows with gestation. The main type of disease are distinguished edematous, anemic, and jaundice disease. Manifestation of the certain forms depends on the period and amounts of penetration of the mother's antibodies into the blood of fetus. The form of heavy edematous form of the hemolytic disease. When any massive penetration of the antibodies takes place, in some causes ili fetopathy develops and antenatal death of the five to seven months old fetus in the others chronic fetopathy in the form of heavy dermatose form of the hemolytic disease with small deformity of tissues repenning. Pathogen not in change with the intrauterine fetal death manifests through maceration and autolysis. The form the heavy nematose form of hemolytic disease, maceration from the late maceration is softening of the tissues by the water. Alone we see edema of face and peeling of the epidermic tissue in big layers. Autolysis is an autodigestion, disintegration of tissues of the organism which takes place under aseptic condition and effect of their own enzymes. 
organs and tissues disin disintegrate till the formation of the uniform mass of the mural color. If it is a chronic edematose form, the skin of the infant is pale, half transparent, glossy, partly macerated with solitary petechial hemorrhages. Hypodermic cellulose, cerebral tissue, and cerebral membranes are sharply dropsically in the body cavity is transudate hydropic fractures and universal. Liver and spleen are greatly enlarged, retrosternal gland is atrophy. The heart is enlarged due to the myocardium hyperplasy, lungs are diminished. Anemic form of the hemolytic disease develops during the later and moderate penetration of the mother's antibodies into the blood or fetus of the infant. It is more frequent observed with the premature infant. Paleness, slight pitting edemas are observed. This is a no icterinosis. The internals are anemic. Liver and spleen are slightly enlarged, they contain microscopic display of marked retoblastosis. Icterus form seldom develops intrauterinally because placental is able to remove bilirubin from the organism of fetus. During the massive penetration of the antibodies at delivery time, a heavy postnatal icterus form of the hemolytic disease of the infant develops icterus neonatorum gravis. Jandice appears at the end of the first or in the second day after delivery and grows quickly. Penetration of the indirect toxic bilirubin into the brain causes the damage of ganglionic cells uh, till the very necrosis, bilirubinic encephalopathy. Bilirubinic encephalopathy, th this change develops mostly in the subcortical section, hypostones, nuclei of the bottom of the demon shaped fossa, inferior olive, pale nucleus, and nuclei of cerebellum. Hypostones, nuclei of the bottom of the diamond stout fossa, inferior delivis epidem, are intensive colorot yellow, nuclear icterus. Uh, uh, icterus form erythroblastosis, gemosiderosis, bilirostasis, and thrombi, sometimes having goldstones. In the kidneys, bilirubinic infarction are observed in the liver. Spleen is enlarged, dense. Microscopically, gemosiderosis and erythroblastosis are found in it. In this picture, present histological signs of congestion pneumonia. One of the most common forms of perinatal congestion infection arises from bacterial agent that extends the birth canal and may be seen in association with premature rupture of membranes and acute chorionotitis. Seen here is a congestion pneumonia with many neutrophils filling immature bronchioles. Complications of premature. Hyaline membrane disease of lung. In this slide you can see formation hyaline membrane disease due to premature and uh, lack of surfactant production from immature lung. Know the, th the thick pink membrane uh, limiting the alveolar space. 
bronhul pulmonar displazie în flanc. În zis picture present, baby service the imidice neonatal period during which time mechanical ventric, uh, ventriculation we was necessary. Is bronhul pulmonar displazie With bronchopulmonary disease, there is interstitial fibrosis and inadequate alveolar development for good pulmonary function. Respiratory distress continues for months. This is finished our lecture. Thank you for your attention.